On the scene, on the story, this is News 9. The city of Norman is trying to help those who have sacrificed their lives for our freedom. Nearly three years ago, it began a campaign to find homes for its homeless veterans, and now the program is receiving national recognition. There wasn't any community sins. Brian Loftus holds the quart of milk he got this morning at a church like it's his last. He's been homeless for three years. You can grow real tired and weary out here for sure. He comes to the library to use their computers and bathrooms and figure out what's next. It's hard to plan sometimes, you know, when you're just daily, you know, you worry about your daily necessities. As Loftus looks for help, the city of Norman looks for people like him. To see them not have a home and a roof over their head, it's, it, it's disturbing. After this homeless and outreach center closed in Norman three years ago due to a lack of funds, city leaders brought both private and public partners together to answer a question. What can you offer? The campaign called Built for Zero meant finding a home for every homeless veteran. For these men and women, they volunteer their services and for the ultimate risk their lives at any case, no matter what and where they're serving. The campaign means going out and finding homeless people to offer a job and ultimately a home. Norman just received national recognition from the government for reaching its goal. It's found homes for 47 vets. Functional zero means we will have no more incoming vets monthly than we can house. Just a shower and a bed yeah, can be a real relief. Loftus, who is not a veteran, knows what a safe place can mean. But after three years on the streets, he's still in no hurry to be found. Mainly pride, I, I, I'm sure. I've always kind of thought, you know, someone else needed it a little worse than I did. And Norman says it's the first community here in Oklahoma to effectively end veteran homelessness.